Hey guys, Nate here with the Volunteer Tech Vlog, and you may be wondering why I am not shooting this video from my car. Uh, well, that's because my car broke down, and uh, basically I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what's happening. If you've been following the uh, Volunteer Tech Vlog, you know that uh, I set up my car with a dashboard camera so I can quickly and easily just press record and that camera is going to be mounted there and I can drive uh, to and from work, to and from church, wherever I'm going and make use of my drive time. So rather than chat with somebody on the phone or just chat into a camera, uh, well, well, maintaining my focus on the road. Um, don't try this at home, kids. Um, and it's no, it's been a good way for me to make use of my time to talk about technology, to kind of process what I'm doing, um, and also throw in some lessons there for beginners, people that are wanting to learn more about audio and video technology. Um, and so it's it's been kind of a fun way for me to give reports to um, to to members of the the tech team at church or the the multimedia ministry team as we refer to ourselves. Um, so it's it's been a good thing, but I haven't uploaded in a while because. The Ultima finally died. And anyway, this video is going to uh, uh, chronicle <laughs> some some videos that I took as I was broken down on the side of the road. And it ties back in to the Volunteer Tech Vlog because I was on my way to do sound for the Good Friday service. And that is when the car broke down. I was going right from work to church. Um, it was going to be a pretty simple service. Um, you know, some hymns and different things, a very somber feel for, for Good Friday um, before Easter when we when we all celebrate the resurrection. So I was on my way there, I had to call the pastor and say, hey look, I'm not going to be able to make it, i got to wait for a tow truck, i got to have somebody come pick me up. Because um, I, was, I was probably about 30 miles away from the church where I broke down. Anyway, if you want to hear the story about what happened... Uh, when, when I broke down in my experience, continue watching this video or, you know, just skip ahead to the next one. But uh, also, in the meantime, during all this time when I have not been creating videos, I have been scouring the internet for other people like me that want to create content for uh, volunteers that usually help at church. Um, and I found some, some awesome people that I did not know existed uh, probably six months ago. So shame on me for not looking them up sooner, but I just the thought never occurred to me. And I, I you know, I was chatting with um, uh, Nick from Stream Monkey earlier today, actually. And, uh, you know, just talking about how there is a thriving community of, of uh, church tech folks out there. And you just have to dig. Maybe they weren't there five years ago or ten years ago, but people are starting to really embrace social media and get out there and do podcasts. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to um, Mike Sessler that does the Church Tech Weekly podcast. He's got some really great content. I probably listened to... Oh man, 20 episodes back to back to back over the course of the last two weeks. So I've really been enjoying the Church Tech Arts, uh, Church Tech Weekly podcast from Mike. And uh, I believe the other guy's Van. He's kind of been MIA lately, so I'm not quite sure who this guy Van is, but uh, apparently he's a co host. Uh, the other guy is Paul Allen Clifford. He's got some great uh, ProPresenter 5 tutorials and tutorials about live streaming and things of that nature. And Brad Zimmerman, also some really awesome ProPresenter 5 tutorials. And um, just generally great content for people that do uh, church technology. So anyway, quick shout out to uh, to Mike, to Paul, and to Brad. But uh, if you want to uh, hear what happened when my car broke down, stay tuned. Because that's coming up right now. Uh, the day the Ultima transmission finally bit the dust. There it is, just broke down on uh, today, Good Friday. Oh man, 2015. On my way to go do sound and uh, going right from work to church and uh, she finally bit the dust. The engine started making some really funny sounds so I paused the CD I was listening to and then I realized I didn't have power anymore so I, luckily it was going pretty quick so I had time to change lanes, get over into the breakdown lane, and then uh, luckily um, there was an exit. So I was able to exit off of 495 South, and it, that's as far as she made it right there. It's kind of a dangerous spot, so I'm standing over here. I'm gonna go over and check out this business park, or uh, this, this building here, see if I can get into the lobby and hang out there for a little while till the tow truck comes in about an hour or two. So, 
that's what I got going on here. Figured I'd make a little, little vlog of my adventures breaking down. Luckily, Geico uh, was uh, very helpful and set up a tow truck for me and got me, uh, got me all hooked up with a tow truck with the roadside assistance that comes with the uh, auto insurance. So a little plug for Geico. So I do have to say, this is probably one of the most comfortable car breakdowns I've ever experienced. My car broke down right over there up on that median and I came over here into this nice uh, nice lobby of this this uh, this commercial building here so I'm just kind of hanging out in this comfy chair and uh, as soon as I as soon as I came walked over here and sat down I saw flashing lights over there and the trooper mass state trooper uh, had pulled up right next to my car and so I like I better go tell him what the scoop is. So I went over there to meet him. And as soon as I rolled up there, a uh, tow truck came. So the tow truck that I had, it was uh, gonna take two hours. So I'm still waiting for him. He'll be here around 7 p.m. But, um, so he's not here yet, but the, the state trooper said, the car's gotta move because it's in a dangerous place, right? So luckily he gave me a little bumper tow. So he pulled up behind me, I put the car in neutral he pushed me right through that light, and uh, there's my car right, right over there uh, in the parking lot here. So I can just kind of casually hang out here in a safe location while uh, we wait for uh, my wife to come rescue me and for the tow truck guy to come here. So I do have to say, if you're going to break down, I'm glad I got to the, uh, the off-ramp of that highway because I was thinking, geez, do I stay on the highway or do I take this off-ramp because I had no idea really what was going to happen or how far I'd be able to make it because the car was just coasting at that point. The engine completely lost power, so I made it that far. A uh, awesome state trooper pushed me the rest of the way into the parking lot over there. And uh, here I sit, and I even got my laptop with me, so uh, if I wanted to get some work done, I could get some work done. There's uh, open Wi-Fi here, too. And here's my family that finally came to rescue me from being stranded on the side of the road or in a comfortable lobby I guess I should say so uh, my wife is a trooper she was not feeling too good that day but nonetheless loaded the kids up into the car and came and picked me up and uh, in just a few seconds here you're going to be hearing the voice of my three-year-old daughter who is talking like a baby as soon as she sees the tow truck arrive Is that a tow truck? 